Hello students, this is your facilitator Graciela de Ayala. Welcome to this course, Methods and Strategies for Teaching English. Today I'm going to show you all the contents, the objectives, and also the activities that you have to develop during these six weeks. Just take a look. As you can see in the first part, there is a, the title and there are some icons here that are interactive. You can click on them and they carry you to some other part of the presentation. Uh, the, num the first part is a, an introduction. We have here an etiquette policies. I know that you are adults, but you as future teachers, you need to let your students know how to behave during a video conference or a forum session. They have to be polite and very respectful because sometimes they disagree with others' opinion, but they have to respect the way other people think. Uh, be professional. When you deliver any kind of activity, it has to be well done. The grammar and spelling is very important. First, because a, there are a lot of tools that the student can use to search for a word or how to spell a word in order to get a to improve um, their speaking and writing skill. Okay, down you can see our virtual. A session schedule or synchronous sessions. The first one was on July the 4th. The next one will be on July 11th from 8 to 10 a.m. Then we will have a session or video conference on July 18th. Then July the 25th and the next one uh, will be on August the 1st and the last one will be on August the 8th. This course will provide you with basic concepts and procedures on pedagogical model for teaching and learning a foreign language and that you're going to design a teaching program as a final activity. The ob general objective is to know and use techniques for the development of teaching units for the teaching and learning of the English language, to analyze and critically assess materials and teaching resources used in the teaching of the English language, and to develop teaching material for teaching and learning, the teaching and learning process. Let's see the specific objective. Apply pedagogical models, approaches, and methods to the specific situation of the classroom and the student. Analyze and synthesize the great traditions in the design of English language teaching program and apply them to specific situations. Identify and use teaching unit making techniques for learning and teaching the English language. Critically analyze and evaluate the textbooks, materials, and teaching resources used in English language teaching. Content. We have the first unit will be about syllables design. The second one is about a formal syllables. Then we have, I don't know what happened here. The methodology. The program is developed to be offered in its entire true with presentation by the teacher of the main content of the program as I am showing you right now, individual and collaborative work, and the use of recommend bibliography in the resolution of theoretical and practical issues proposed by the teacher and in the application of a theoretical concepts studied to analyze real situations through the available statistical information. The teaching resources will be Educativa, Google Meet, Loom, Socrative, Genially, 
and lectures through live training sessions, etc. Evaluation. The evaluation uh, will be based on some elements that I will show you in our next slide here. In the first unit, there are some activities. For example, the first one is to introduce yourself and tell me which are your core expectations. Uh, you have to record yourself and upload the video to the forum section. Also, you have to make a research. I will give you a topic and you have to search for more information about that topic. Then you're gonna create a conceptual map about a, that topic that is related to teaching methods. Those activity has a, the 30% of the final grade. Uh, you need to, there is an activity also. You have to create a PPT presentation, but you have to explain your PPT the way I'm doing right now. You can use Loom. I will give you uh, the steps to follow to create your Loom account. And I also I will show you how to make a nice presentation for your students so you can give them a tutorial or any a explanation is recording your screen and yourself and a sharing with them okay you need three there is an activity here that you have to create a communicative um, inter interactive activity uh, to improve the grammar skills or the, the vocabulary for your students using Genially. Genially is a free platform or a free tool too, like Loom, in which you can create interactive content, quizzes, and many, many things uh, in a very attractive way. So I will give you also the steps to follow uh, that you can use to create your uh, own interactive activity. Uh, unit four, we have to prepare a, the syllables process. I will show you a, um, and you have to have like a draft of your final project. A week number six is your final presentation. You're gonna create a teaching program, okay? Using a one of the tools that you have um, known here in this course. And that's it. So at the end of this course, you have to come back here and fill uh, or complete this activity. Answer these questions. Was the training relevant to your needs? You have to put the, what do you consider? And also, what was the course practical and easy to apply? Yes or not? And you have to develop this activity. It's a Bloom taxonomy uh, in which you have to fill the spaces or drag the words to the correct boxes according to the verbs that best describe the main uh, verb. Bloom, ta Bloom taxonomy in the educational era. So this is all for today. See you on next Saturday 11th at 8 a.m. Any question feel free to send me a message through the chat room.